Day one, people, day one. That's right, baby. Morning, guys. I had thought that I had recorded an introduction earlier this morning, but I had it on camera mode and not video mode. So I'm gonna do a quick intro here, probably be out of place. Um, I, it is Monday, January 10th, 2022. This is my first um, hike of the year in the Smokies. Um, super excited to be back here. Um, today I am doing a Gabe's Mountain Trail, but I started on Madron Bald off of Highway uh, 321 at the trailhead. Uh, and then went up uh, 1.2 miles and then Gabe's Mountain Trail is about 6.4 miles. But there is also a 0.3 mile spur that I have to finish in Cosby. It's the last of the trails in Cosby that I don't have yet. Um, there's like two and a half miles total. And the video before this, uh, when I did uh, low gap and snaked in, I did most of them. I did the horse trail and then the extra connectors. So I've got all of those. I just have to get this 0.3 that's at the end of Gabe's uh, mountain trail. So a total of like 8.4 miles or something like that today. Super excited, it's super cold. This is um, a few days after the big snowstorm. Well, I guess it's almost a week after the big snowstorm, uh, but there's no snow here. Later in the week, we'll be doing LeCant and we'll need our micro spikes for that. There will be some snow and ice up there, but um, we don't expect any today. And it's just a gorgeous day. It's like, it's gotta be around 32 by now. We've already had a few water crossings, which I'll show after this. I am with, uh, my friend Tammy and my friend Paige from Indiana. They are down here. Tammy's in the red jacket. Uh, she has been on several of my videos. She is a local and she is an absolute gem of a friend and a trail, uh, trail pal and she knows a lot of history. She's actually a trail guide. Um, she has been wonderful. She's finished uh, at least one map. And then there's my friend Paige from Indiana. <laughs> this is her first time hiking in the Smokies. She's been to the Smokies before, but um, she is doing it the smart way. She brought some sandals and is keeping her shoes and her feet dry while Tammy and I are like, eh, we'll just freeze. <laughs> so that was our third water crossing. And I think it's the last one for a while. We are, um, let me see here and I'll be able to look real quick, sorry. Uh, we're about a, less than a mile in on uh, Gabe's Mountain Trail. It's been um, a gentle uphill, but a pretty steady uphill. And I think we got a little bit more, maybe another half a mile, and then we'll reach the uh, campsite. And then I'll try to do some video footage of the uh, campsite. Apparently it is one of the most beautiful uh, campsites around I want to say it's 29 is the number. Oh, sorry. Um, it has two sections to it, and both sections has its own waterfall. So I can't wait to see it. I was supposed to stay there last month um, when I was doing uh, Snake Den Ridge, but I had a little fall and hit my head. And um, while I was okay outside of, you know, typical headache and uh, so on and so forth, I just thought it was uh smart not to stay the night by myself out at a campsite since i did actually hit my head um and so i missed out on it so i don't know if maybe this concludes this trail will conclude cosby for me uh this trip but i wouldn't be opposed to maybe coming over here and staying the night there one of these times because i have a feeling it's going to be as beautiful as everybody talks about it so i will see you up trail Right in there, step right over here. Woo! Woo! 
Yeah. How does it feel? Woo! Woo! Now what are you gonna use to dry off? That's a great question. <laughs> okay, so I have a little towel in the pack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jungle out there. <laughs> and sandals and everything. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Let me see if I can. Tammy. 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 She Tammy. has her ways. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll brave it first. I mean, I'm already wet. Oh my gosh. So, oh, you probably can't hear me. <laughs> uh, okay, so it wasn't too bad. Super cold. Super cold. Uh, the air temperature is about, well, it's probably 32 now, I'd say. So my feet are basically numb. Uh. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh. Smokies, baby! <laughs> Smokies, baby! Okay, I gotta find a rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Woo! The campsite. Here's the trail that continues on that way. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And there are people coming up that way. And then this is campsite 34. I'm sorry, I misspoke earlier. There's the sign, and um, you'll see this sign that shows you how to go for Gabe's Mountain Trail. Let's see if I can find the bear cables. Oh, there's the first set of bear cables that I see. Um, um, I'm looking for other signs. I don't see a lot of flat ground, so, but this goes way down here. Um, looks like a, a pretty sprawling campsite. beautiful place. I don't see a lot of tent, flat spaces for tents. Um, and I want to continue down, but I'm also hungry and it's lunchtime. <laughs> um, oh, but I've got to. Here we go. down this gosh I'm gonna say that was about a point one little trail uh, that's where you get to the flat sites and and it just continues down <laughs> This is just gorgeous. Uh, this is a little rocky. And I don't know that I'm going to go any further, but here's the water source. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Okay. All right, guys, this is campsite 34. This has been a super enjoyable place to stop and have a bite to eat and talk to people as they come the other way up the trail. And now Paige is going to cross through here. So we just crossed over this creek. Paige and Tammy are behind me. Um, Paige took off her shoes, and so she's putting her shoes, um, trail shoes back on. This should be the last water crossing. Um, once again, it shouldn't be this deep. Um, just maybe picked a long time here to come up this way. Um, we got a little cold because we stopped and had our lunch, but I'm sure once we get moving, we will warm up. Uh, we're about halfway through, um, and I think it's like two o'clock, so we're making decent time. We're stopping, enjoying things. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna continue on from here uh, and probably catch you again at Hinwawo Falls. There aren't a whole lot of junctions on this trail because it is just, you know, Gabe's Mountain Trail. So, um, so yeah, so I'll probably just check back with you when we get to Hinwawo Falls. We've yet to make it to Hinwawo Falls, but this is sure pretty. I had to show you guys. Not too bad. I had to flip over to my phone to record just having some technical difficulties but um, I'm not really sure if I got what I've got on here actually but we are now approaching Hinwallow Falls um, the rock hops from uh, campsite 34 to where we're at have not been bad there have been many um, and for the most part I've stayed dry in ultras and Paige and her speed goats has stayed dry so it hasn't been as bad as the other side, but there are plenty. And uh, my advice would be just to make sure that you're paying attention to the precipitation forecast and you know um, kind of how full um, or to expect the water crossings. Um, you know, this is just not a, a common thing to have to worry about on Gabe's Mountain, but we just happen to have a lot of precipitation lately. So I will show you when we get to Hinwalla Falls. We come up to this sign right here, warning closely controlled children, which is your cue that Hinwallow Falls is down here. The sign I showed you a few minutes ago was a false alarm. That was actually a sign that, I mean, a small trail that takes you directly over the falls, which is beautiful, um, but you do have to watch your kids. So we came down just a little bit further from that trail you see there, and, um, now we're going to go down to the falls at point one this way. That way is uh, from Madron Bald. This is the way we're going. Look at the views we have today. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so I promise once I get down here, I will show you falls. And hopefully not the human kind. It's your hike down to the falls. It is a pretty steep hike. Um, nothing it can't handle, especially for just point one of a mile. It's just steeper than the rest of the trail. It's super pretty. It has been a cold day, but it's been a wonderful day. It's been very, you know, like winter hikes can be really invigorating, and it certainly has been. I mean, sometimes we've been a little cold, but nothing that hurt us. I'm holding the camera pretty flat out so you can kind of see the the in, the decline. It's a little wet and icy.
And there's the falls. Super pretty. And flowing beautifully, I might add. And then our view. This is a great place if you're coming the other direction to stop and have your lunch. Plenty of places to sit and a gorgeous view. In Wallow Falls. So we can't have a good day. <laughs> I mean, who it's is all it? paid. Who is it? That's right. That's right. The trail wants to keep paid. We have made it to the junction of um, a spur that will take you point three into the campground and a spur that will take you point three onto the road. I'm going to start by going into the campground. We're going to go back to our uh, vehicles and then I'm going to drop my pack. I'm going to come up this area right here. So now we will move on toward the campground. I made it back to the campground. So now we're going to take the shortest route to the cars and then I'm going to drop my pack and um, hike up that 1.3. All right, guys, I am on the Cosby Campground Road, almost to the um, trailhead that I will finish the last point three miles. I dropped my friends off. It's cold, and I thought it would be nice for them to just stay in the truck. I know where I'm going. I have my safety beacon, um, and I have my warm layers, and I know I'll be fine and safe, but I wanted to show you. so. We came out at A21 and 22, walked around the curve of the campground, and then we found a cemetery off to the left. Let me show you this sign first. So I'm just going up point three, of course. Uh, as we walked the curve of the campground, actual campground road, uh, then we went off to the left. You could see in the distance a couple taller headstones it was a small cemetery there is a path and i'm sorry i don't remember which campsite number it is but maybe i can look up the campground map and put it on the screen here um and that path took you to the cemetery and then there was another path that took you out to the road so if you're hiking this and you can't get up to the campground like it's in winter or what have you um, you can do exactly what I'm doing and it really isn't adding any time and it makes it a little easier too. I apologize for the lack of quality in this video. Um, like I said, I was having a little bit of problems with my gimbal camera that I should hopefully resolve by tomorrow's hike. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I did want you to see this hike. It is an easy hike, but there are some technical aspects to it as far as getting all your miles that I wanted to make sure you were aware of. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to drop a line here. Um, part of my reason for doing this is for myself, but part of it is for anyone who is trying to figure out their map. So I don't mind answering questions or anything. So anyway, I shouldn't be too far now from the uh, thing, probably point two already. I don't think it's really point three. So I will show you when I get there. All right, guys, I made it up to the junction. It wasn't point three. I mean, it was probably close. Uh, it was all uphill, I will say that, but that means it's all downhill. This is where we came from today. This is a little spur that we took to the campground. And this is the trail back down. I will sign off here, since I've already shown you the trailhead. This is a lovely hike. It really isn't that bad. There's a lot of uphill uh, that is steady, kind of a gentle uphill, if you will. There are some sections where you're gonna breathe heavy, 
but uh, especially if it's done not in the summer months, you're gonna have more water for views. There's some beautiful views. And if you do it in the winter months, for the most part, I want to say, you won't have to worry about the water crossings like we did. Uh, I think that was just a, you know, a happenstance. But it, there's so much to see. Uh, I think I got some of the mountains that surround here. And it's just a beautiful little hike. You've got water most of the way on one side or the other. And super pretty. So... I hope you enjoyed this hike, and like I said, if you have any questions at all, leave me a comment and I'll try to help you through it. Thanks for watching.